No. Ooh, a baka baka ba. It's. Ooh. Hey. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Science First Show with me. We've come to the final episode of The Science First Show and it has been a good, oh my God. I told myself I wouldn't cry on the camera. To make real good use of me, the producers of the show have tasked me to create a viral TikTok video. Then he says, you're sodium funny. In the name of science, they say, They are using And of course, we'll do this the scientific way. Wait. But first, what makes TikTok so addictive? Dr. Julie Albright, a sociologist specializing in digital communication, has explained that when you're scrolling and you see a video that's delightful and catches your attention, you get a little dopamine hit in the pleasure center of your brain. That's what makes you keep scrolling. All right, rule number one. It can't be longer than 30 seconds and needs to be attention grabbing. Our next theory is known as diversive curiosity. TikTok is overflowing with videos of a large variety. Diversive curiosity explains our urge to explore and experience new things, fueling our need for instant gratification. With younger people these days having shorter and shorter attention spans, every second counts. Which means we need to catch people's attention right at the very start. And what I like to do is to choose a molecule that's part of a pathway that my audience is already familiar with before going into a very deep dive. So one way I think this has worked really well for me is applying trending TikTok audios to a scientific concept. So if you're able to integrate fresh content to a familiar tune, then you knock two birds with one stone. I pretty much started this entire family. No one would be anywhere or anything without me. So last rule, the TikTok video has to be something people can replicate or react to. The last theory is known as the IKEA effect, which states that people are more interested in a product when they have a stake in it. See, TikTok encourages sort of a sharing economy for content where you can build up others' ideas or borrow others' ideas and create something of your own. That explains why duet videos are so popular on TikTok. Human creatures are social beings. We tend to want to be part of what's cool and what's trending and stop, mom. It's not a phase. It's a lifestyle. Cause I got your picture. I'm you, dear Maria. <laughs> Count me in. Uh, she, she doesn't understand. Videos that invoke a response, be it through replication or reaction, allows the audience to create their own content. In some way, have a stake in whatever is happening. All right, hypothesis. I'll be able to create a viral TikTok video based on these rules, right? Hmm, agree or disagree? Comment down below. So with a little bit of sugar and spice and everything science, I'm happy with that. The results should look something like this. We said big bad Get cussing off. out the Bentley Bentayga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. a baka baka ba is. Ooh, crack a bookie bookie boo. Ba 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 ba. If it's Dennis, lean Dennis. If it's yeah, that Dennis, 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 So, so it looks like we can't accept our hypothesis. And science theories do play a huge role in our everyday lives, even if it's just to create a fun viral TikTok video. Maybe there is a formula to success. Maybe the answer lies in many of our scientific discoveries and we just don't know it yet. So this is also why we created this series in the first place, to share with everyone the many scientific discoveries to help enrich our everyday lives and to entertain. To entertain, yeah. We hope you enjoyed this season of Science First. Follow Asian Scientist Magazine for more exciting stories. And as always, I know who I am. I'm Darian Nguyen. And this is a Science First show. Oh yeah.